It's Wednesday, March 1st. This is News 8 Now, and I'm Linda Swinford. We are following a new proposal filed overnight by some Iowa lawmakers that would eliminate same-sex marriage. Eight Republican House members, including two from the Quad City area, proposing House Joint Resolution 8. This would modify Iowa's constitution to accept marriage as, quote, the union between one human biological male and one human biological female. If the resolution is adopted, it would go to the next General Assembly. If approved there, voters will then decide its fate. Iowa was one of the first states in the nation to legalize same-sex union in 2009. We have reached out to Representative Luanna Stoltenberg for comment. She declined but referred us to the main sponsor of the bill. We have done that and we are waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, Clock Incorporated, the, city, the Quad City's only LGBTQ plus community center, released a statement saying, quote, Clock Inc. is disgusted yet unsurprised to see January 6th insurrection attendee Representative Luanna Stoltenberg introduce bigoted legislation crafted upon cherry-picked Bible verses. They went on to say, Clock Inc. will continue to advocate for the rights and freedoms of all individuals and to fight against discrimination and hypocrisy in all its forms. Today, a statewide protest by hundreds of Iowa teens and young adults, students at Iowa State University, and dozens of high schools, including some in our area, walked out in response to what they believe is anti-LGBTQ legislation. The university says they are aware of the event, but since it's student-led, they have no further details. Another warm day for the Quad Cities, but we are watching the possibility of a winter storm moving in later this week. Let's check in with Andrew. Hey, Linda, yeah, a beautiful day. We had ties in the 50s, a good deal of sunshine. We're going to see that, though, go away for a little while anyway, so hope you were able to get outside and enjoy that. We will fall to right around freezing tonight as clouds continue to move back in, a little breezy at times, too. Tomorrow, we switch winds to the north. We'll keep the clouds around, mostly cloudy skies that will hold temperatures into the upper 40s. There is still a lot of uncertainty regarding what's going to come in here on Friday. The potential still there for a winter storm to impact a good chunk of our region, not only with snow, but also a mix of rain and snow, too. So now is a good time. If you haven't already, get the News 8 and the Storm Track 8 app. That way you, too, can track this next winter storm into the region with us right here on News 8. Linda? Thanks, Andrew. There soon could be an extra set of eyes on your license plate in Rock Island after City Council recently approved automated readers. The police department says they would install them by city entry points to provide real-time detection and information on vehicles involved in crime, and so police can respond. The cameras would cost nearly $121,000 with a two-year service agreement. The cities of Milan, East Moline, and Silvis are using the same system. Right now we struggle, sometimes we have a lot of uncooperative victims. Uh, so every bit of information we can get to help solve a case, we want to utilize that. Chief Landy says they are hoping to have the systems installed two months from now after approval from the Illinois Department of Transportation. Part of this funding comes from the American Rescue Plan Act. And that's all the time we have for News 8 Now. Be sure to stay connected online when you're not in front of the TV. WQAD.com and our News 8 app for Apple, Android, Roku, and Fire TV are available anytime.